How's it going again? Um, today we are going to talk about um, probably the coolest thing ever. And basically what it is is just uh, how these eyes work. Um, I'm learning this and this is a new experience for me. I think it's really intelligent to learn. Probably a really uh, sexier, adventurous experience. Probably like no, it's probably like more than a towny experience. It's probably a little bit past towny because yeah, we got sex is a town, and you know it's a, oh, it's a city, and then we have a town, and then whatever's past that is where we're at here at three for sure. But it's just learning what this is right here, you know. And um, anyway. What we're learning here is that, you know, um, anyone's finger can touch your eye and your eye will try to close. But if you have the ability, you know, to not have any itching, which itching is what prayer caused. And itching is when, you know, you feel the bristles of grass, which is really uncomfortable. And it just really is itchy, and it's like you sweat for a long time, but you don't take any flack in, and it just kind of piles up on your body, and it gives you scrapes, it gives you hurt, and it gives you old age and, like, old sweat bumps and stuff like that. Um, basically, because you don't know what this is. Happy. And um, so, <clears throat> this is what the point is, is that this right here, you know, is also ass, you know, and also it's called uh, free walking. I mean, I don't know if y'all have ever done it, but uh, free walking is basically when you use your body weight to, um, I don't know how to explain it really, but it's kind of like if you, like, instead of just use, you know, just like, you know, basic movements like this to move. Or, you know, those, like, those real preemptive Tower Banks moves. You know, they're like, I like gospel. You know, that type of stuff. You know, and I mean, yeah, it's not like that. I mean, if, you know, if you like you know gospel and creepy crawlies, it's definitely not that. And um, anyway, the point is, is that uh, you know, it's kind of like, you know... It's like walking and using the, uh, you have a clinch movement here that you can walk with and use. But you also have a, um, a clinch and relax um, movement point, you know. And in between that clinch and relax movement, you have a uh, little, like, kind of a uh, medium there that can be used. And um, anyway, like in that little area. You know, um, when you're walking, you know, it can go boom, boom, you know, and have extra um, better feeling. And I learned that it requires your eyes to have it to where you were doing that with yourself. Because you, know, you don't want to have it where you were a model. You don't want to have it where you were a model. You don't want to have it where you're an idol. You don't want to have it where... You're not you talking to yourself. I mean, it has your views have to come back around to yourself. It's just like looking at the snake in that freaking bulletproof mode video. I mean, you just have to be able to know how to, like, I don't know, just kind of see yourself. And when you poke your eye, you know, you have to use, like, the finger furthest away in the uh, swinging motion. I think I showed you in another video. But basically, you know, if you took this, you know, which is like, you know, everything. It's like, it's like my emote, you know, if I was like, hmm. And it just stayed like that or just whatever the emote would be, whatever it would feel like. You know, basically if I just took this and then just, you know, shoveled it up inside of a sock and I'm just going like this with it. You know, that movement is what this is, you know, and that is what actually fuels that. And you can actually look at it and you can feel it. And I'm training myself to do it 
but you can actually feel it go and you can move it all the way up your arm and it's little balls of pressure and each one is counted and um <clears throat> it's when you can touch your eye and it doesn't like shrink and shrivel away you know and um it shouldn't itch or hurt or anything your eyes are very very ready for this type of stuff and they're always uh liquided and they can always feel the liquid you know they can always feel how that feels you know and uh i mean you see how i'm not really trained yet you know but i mean you know this is also like a vaginal part too you know it feels like you know also anal and mouth probably <clears throat> and nose but what i mean is that you should be able to touch your eye without it like shriveling and blinking like that. Now, I don't know why it does that, but it looks interesting. And I was thinking of, you know, maybe it had to do with like penis and vagina, you know, or some kind of piston going on, you know, um, or like uh, seams of people that like don't want to be touched. Like, basically, like having to watch heels have eyes over and over and over. Any kind of, you know, that type of stuff. And you're like, I don't like to watch that stuff. It doesn't mean anything. It's not real. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. Because you have to know how to use this. You got to go back in time and realize why you have these eyes. You know, and it's not to put something in a hole and put it in the crevice. I mean, when I open this eye and look in it, it looks like I'm opening up a gigantic well. And I can just put my finger in a huge canister and I can just put this inside of there that deep in the hole you know but that's not what that's for and you can't if it has that depth to it then you close up like that and then you open it when it gets in there you know and um you know it's not supposed to do that and it's not supposed to like mm, 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 you know try to fight back and you know but you're supposed to be able to just touch it. But I mean, what I'm seeing is me on YouTube with a uh, thing of Visine just trying to like put it in my eye. I'm like, <laughs> that's where you can see all of those little squirts that comes out, you know, or little, you know, little, you know. And in order to get rid of the extra, you know, junk in your life that is irritating, I mean, you have to be able to kind of know how that feels to have uh, that film so you can actually learn how to alternate reality really like real reality you know like a comfortable you know exploration you know or just learning more or whatever you're set out to achieve and decided you know is basically it or you know but anyway what i mean here is just that you know i can touch my skin you know and i can see with it fine you know but i should be able to just touch this and I did earlier, and I could just keep my finger on it, and it didn't bother it. But it shouldn't feel like there's flies on it. Like, you know, when, like, something just sits there for a long time, and it feels like it has flies on it? And also, uh, shouldn't be uncomfortable. But you have to train with those layers, because uh, basically what we've taught ourselves to learn uh, with uh, visuals um, is basically that all of our visuals are right here because it requires touch and it requires not seeing one area and then you know seeing you know a different area instead of what we're wanting to see so with this you know when you learn that you learn that you can actually take little clear pieces of things that look like something like if you wrote a little mini diagram in your mind about what something was and you're like well this is where i was you know and this is what i need to know you know and this is the rest of it on there with the text and everything and then um you can just kind of see it and, you know, you could just kind of, you know, just kind of see that, you know, kind of see, it, you know, just kind of see your eye and see the little clear pieces and how you could just take a little clear piece, you know, of something and just like cut it up in little pieces and turn it in different areas. And wouldn't you be disappointed, you know, if you don't get any CEVs, don't get any visuals and you're like, you know, guess what's on the other side of this? You're like, what is it? And then you put something over there. And then you're like, oh, it's just pizza snack rolls. You know, and then it's pizza snack rolls. You know, it's just 
I wanted to be able to see other stuff. You know, I wanted, like, the reason I put myself through all this stuff was just because I wanted to be able to trip out and just be able to, like, see other things and so I could be on every drug ever and so I could feel every last bit of pleasure and be in a state of mind. And I realized also, and this is very, very not obvious, that heaven is actually just the part where I'm like, even if someone's like, you know, you know, like interesting about it, you know, type of thing. And I mean, it has nothing to do with the place. It has nothing to do with the planet. It has nothing to do with moving. All heaven has to do with is just getting fucked by a big fat cock that, um, you. and you have to turn away, you know, healing with the foot, you know, don't, don't, don't look that way, you know, look, that way, don't look that way, you know, with the foot, you know, it's like this way, that way, you know, and just how that stuff messes everything up, you know, and, you know, I just want to be life, I don't want to have, you know, where I have gray hair, if I have gray hair, I'm just going to end it, you know, I'm going to get rid of it, I'm not stupid, and I just want to be able to at least see something else in my life, and I mean, at least be able to go to another reality, or at least take the step to perception and do that. And that's going to be one of the key steps that I'd have to do, you know, no matter who the hell I was thinking or trying to do it. You know, I mean, you know, just trying to do something I want to do, you know, is really important. You know, and um, you know, that's what I really want to do. And, um, you know, and just about that, um, I think that, uh, I mean, if my eyeballs are like split like this, you know, and I can't see anything, I mean, I don't, I don't think I can actually take my eyes and roll them all over the place. I mean, maybe it's possible. I mean, maybe, maybe that would be required, but I mean, I mean, just being able to touch your eyes at any time and see how it's still closing up. You know, you also have breasts that you can close up. You know, you have nipples that can close up. You have sweat glands that can close up. You know, you have a uh, smell that can close up. You got a mouth that can close up. You got ears that can close up. You know, and it doesn't have to feel like it's really sensitive and like, you know, like, you know, when your ears feel like you're going like this, you go, it's re like that when you like do this and you're like, Ooh. it turns your face red and then you see your eyeballs with like the veins. It's like, Ooh. you know, and then your, your ears go like, re and your other one goes re like that <clears throat> that's both your ears going re and that's basically what sex was like for my granny or me you know if i was uh forced to have sex as a face which was in any area you know or in between people in a place um let's talk about you know, how the uh, ideal place is. But anyway, you know, all of that straining and everything. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of just kind of lost here. I mean, just learning how to do that and just learning how to hear, you know, and just just take all of those other feelings of the hearing with the ring and how that, you know, actually had to do with like getting your eye touched, you know, because this is just like having your vagina touched, just like having your penis touched, you know, when it's flatulent and it doesn't want any, you know, or having your ass touched and it doesn't want any, you know, or having to take a shit and... <laughs> isn't wanting no I mean just anything you know but uh <laughs> you know I mean I'm just trying to throw some things at you here and um I don't know what else to say right now um just 
learn that and you know learn how you can just touch your eye and how anyone you have to make it freely to where anyone can just come up and touch your eye you know without it being zombie and without it being like somebody can just stick their finger in butter while they're like talking about garlic and just shove it right in your eyeball if it makes it really itchy and it hurts your eye you know but realize how that works and you know i don't know what these do either you know with the uh, hairs that stick out i know there's a venus fly trap so i thought maybe the flies had to do with it but then i realized that too uh, the venus fly trap captures a fly and then closes it up and then it eats the fly you know and then i realized that like if i have my finger on my eye you know, and it eats a fly, it wouldn't be the same as like a dead cow's eye, you know, when a fly can just easily just go up to the eye and then just kind of like, and then it just has maggots on the eyeball, you know, and um, <clears throat> I think that uh, it kind of has to do with it, you know. I mean, why is it black right there? I mean, there's not a reason you can't just say it's black right there, you know, because you know we have eye diagrams and you got letters to look at you know it's a Phoenician alphabet you know uh, the Pope came up with it you know I don't want to know that but, I mean for those of you that do you know what are you going to do with all those extra buildings anyway I just wanted it to where I could just be able to kind of see a film in that little area so I could actually print my own things to look at with that. Because it is a protective film, you know, that is there for you to be able to see. You know, like, you know, I mean, I know like fish have open eyes, you know, but I thought that, you know, these eyes would do more than just like, give me a little tiny non-existent visual and then, you know, I can't feel visual too. You know, it should be able to just be felt though. If any, at any time, you know, the, the way you can gauge it is uh, you just kind of do this, you know, and um, kind of watch people's movements. And, um, you know, good practices, you know, uh, like transportation, you know, like if you're on a bus or something or if you're in a car or if you're just standing around with people in line or at home or just wherever. Animals too, you know. Um, but anyway, you know, the point is, is that, you know, when someone's like looking away and then look this way, or if you talk too much, you can be like, hey, how you doing? And then if you say, hey, how you doing? At the exact same level, you know, it seems to be weird to do that. And that'd be like, the first time I said, hey, how I'm doing, you know, it's like I touch my eye and it quenches up. And then the next time I said, hey, how you doing? It's like I could just touch my eye and it wouldn't bother it, you know. So I think that, you know, being able to say the same exact thing over and over and over should not cause a, what are you doing? You know, what are you saying? That is awkward. That doesn't seem right. That's wrong. You know, that seems crazy, you know, and stuff like that. I think that that, you know, is wrong. You know, so basically what I mean is, you know, reiterations of what I see doesn't seem to be right. If it isn't right socially, where if I say, hello, how are you doing? And then, you know, I say it right after that, you know, with higher volume or the same volume or whatever. Hello, how are you doing? Without it being, you know, in a little quiet zone past, you know, the listening threshold. There has to be something that is hitting on those thresholds. You know, you can't have somebody fucking like this and then all of a sudden you didn't get any input. And like, boom, boom. You know, and then you're like, what the hell just happened? You know. But anyway, I, I don't know what else to say. I just think that uh, that would probably be it. So, I mean... Basically, just go over that, go over how you can touch your eye, how it shouldn't have any fear. It has to be pushing outwards because we have this light here that pushes at our eyes. We also have the blockage of it, which has to have, you know, uh, in our volume levels, it has to be able to push at our eyes and also push at the light. 
you know, and it has like when it's pushing away like that, it has to have the exact same full push amount when I pushed away as it does when the light is like not like that. And it has to have a medium in between it that can go like this, you know, or, you know, just some kind of feeling like, you know, you have this and you have this, you have push and let go, push and let go. And right in there in that between part is the part where there is movement in between there. And that's where you, know, you should have the ability to basically understand that you have a film over your eyes right there, you know, that you can just, you know, touch it and it doesn't get hurt. You know, it has a liquid over it. It has some movement and it has some substance. Substance, you know, is in there. And um, I don't know what else to tell you. Just keep practicing and practicing, you know, and just see what you can do with it. I mean, would you be able to see things better? Would you not be stuck in a position? Would you be able to do the alt? What would you be able to do? I mean, what could you teach me? What can I learn? You know, how much do you like dead people? You know, I don't. I don't like dead people. I, mean, I just don't like a lot of people if this were the case. I don't know. I, I don't know what dead people are. Maybe they think the dad did. You know, I don't think that's good either. But I'm sure that, you know, figuring out how you can just touch your eye, you know, and copying everyone's movements. Like if you see someone in a, in like a, uh, you know, an area and they can just like turn, like talk to somebody and they can just go like this and like point at you. And be like, hey, how's it going? You know, and just point at you, you know, or just, you know, hey, you know, point, hey, point, hey, point. Or at any physical level, someone could just do that, you know, at any point. You know, you'd be like, <laughs> point, you know, and they just didn't pay any attention to you. And, you know, just forever just waiting and just kind of messing around. You know, things like that, you know, is really like that. And it's like... Things that, you know, is like really touching your controls, you know. And so you got to learn that is that if I can just walk up to you and think about poking you in the eye, then I just poke you in the eye. You know, and there's no room for excuses anymore, people. We have the internet. You know, and we have connections in a world. We have a whole network of different forms of communication, more than just the internet. And... It's definitely a global force, and it has to be understood. It has to be understood, and it can't just be, you know... I mean, before I would be born, I would have to be so slow at looking at everything else. I would have to, everything would have to be convenient as possible for me. It's just getting more and more like that now, you know, and I'm realizing it, you know, when I think of an idea, I usually see its result, you know, like right next to a person, you know. So I just want to let you know that um, being able to see, you know, and figure out what these eyes are. I don't know what the rest of the information is about the eye. I mean, I don't think there is a way to explain it or see it. I don't think there's one person that can explain it, you know, yet. You know, I don't know what the black thing is in there. I don't know what the brown thing is around it. Like something else useful. I mean, besides the fact that it helps, I have brown instead of green. So when I look at the sun... You know, it just kind of stops some of the extra pressure from getting in my eye and giving me sunburn when it's black. Black is absorbing it. You know, so why would I have, you know, like the sun, you know, pointing at my eyes? And, you know, I don't know. I mean, then there's a white part that like reflects it into that. But if I look at my eyes as if they, oh, this is the part that turns off. Like if my eyes were rolling like this, or like any form of looking that can make your eyes shake, like uh, like you know you're like this, like <clears throat> you know, and it makes your eyes like go like that and flutter, or like if you go down like this, you can feel it too. But basically, the ass shaking and all that, and that little bit of that medium makes a ball, and it basically each one of these balls can be measured. And it can be used in so many different ways. I mean, it's the same things that created uh, Flea Circus, you know, on the computer game, you know, where, you know, it has like a Flea Circus. It's got like a flat land. And then you can like pour like salt or phosphorus or CO2 or just NOS or napalm or anything like that, you know, right in there, you know, and just see, you know, what it is. And, um,. <clears throat> And it's how those little things sprinkle and interact with the environment and can create 
you know, little sprinkly things that move and create physics and, you know, like water can like slosh and splash and move and also, you know, fire can kind of erupt and things can like create a person and it moves and walks and, you know, just the way that our body moves has to have it, you know, and just to do anything all day, you could actually become someone who would be so skilled that you would be able to basically do the free walk like I was talking about where you, know, you let your body weight just kind of move and it basically gives you some kind of floating or feet flying kind of feeling instead of a, uh, you know, I'm just going to go over here, you know, type of feeling. It won't be like that. You know, it would actually be like, you know, have the ability to uh, do something else. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to just keep going. But, uh, basically, you know, the way I'm instructing, the way I've been instructing is just kind of on strike and I'm kind of also, you know, protesting, you know, against people who have teaching. I think teaching is stupid, and I think that all the things that I know are just in this little, tiny little playhouse. And I just think that every one of you are just little people in one little plastic playhouse or just a little real playhouse, you know, with just people in it. And, you know, you can just watch them just walk around. Oh, you know, person has a name and, you know, likes this and goes over here and doesn't like this and, you know, likes to cook food. And, uh, you know... Drives his car and goes to work and scared of this, but doesn't like that, you know, and might of <laughs> these, you know, and just things like that. And just how that's just all so compressed. And then all of the language I haven't learned about my body at all, you know, or any reason why these freckles are here, you know. So maybe that's some motivation is to see why the hell these are here. You know, why is this hair here? Why is this nose shaped like this? Why is it not shaped like that? You know, why is this not like this? Why are you like this? You know, can you really piss in someone's eyes? You like to look at women inside of places that have, I don't know, cucumbers and look at caterpillars. You know, because I've never seen that be attracted at the same time. And, <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, you know, the more that you practice that, you know, the less you'll get done. You know, so at least there's something to die for.